The topics for this video is broken object level authorization, how you can exploit BOLA by parameter pollution, how you can manually test for this vulnerability, and then how you can automate this using Okta. BOLA is a vulnerability that occurs when an API endpoint fails to properly enforce access controls, which allows a user to access resources or objects that they should not have access to. It is a top API vulnerability of the OS API security project, so it is very important to test for it. Let's have a look at BOLA by parameter pollution. This vulnerability occurs when an attacker is able to manipulate or inject parameters in a request to bypass authorization checks and gain access to unauthorized resources or objects. So by simply injecting parameters in the request body, a user is able to bypass authorization. We are going to have a look at it practically. For demonstration purpose, we are using OASP Juice Shop. So there is a functionality through which you can add a product to the cart in this case basket so a user is provided a unique basket id to see your own basket id click on inspect element go to storage and then there you can see a bid value that is six i also have another account which is victims account and it is opened in a separate firefox container we can also check the bid value of the victims basket that is seven now keep that number in mind because we are going to do something very interesting. I'm going to capture the request of adding something to basket in Burp Suite. And here we can see the endpoint slash API slash basket items. And it is a post request with three parameters, product ID, basket ID, and quantity. It's showing error because there was already a product with the ID 1, so let's change it to 2. And in the response, we can see the product is successfully added in the basket. We can confirm that here. Also in the response, we can see our own basket ID. Now to exploit parameter pollution, we are going to add one more parameter with the same name, that is basket ID, but with a different value, 7, which is my victim's basket ID. After sending the request, we can see the product is added in the victim's basket since the response says basket ID 7. Refreshing the page, we can see the product was added successfully. Now in real case scenario, attacker doesn't even need to know the IDs of the other user. They can just simply send this request to repeater and perform a brute force attack with different numbers leading to unauthorized action. Okay, let's see how we can automate this using Octo. You can import request either from Postman or from the Octoburp extension. Just click on Run Test. And here you can see a test BOLA by HTTP Parameter Pollution. Uncheck the other test. And click on Run Once Now. In the testing section, we can see the same API endpoint slash API slash basket items. And it says the severity is high. Clicking on it, we can see the original request with three parameters, product ID, basket ID, and quantity, which we saw. And in the attempt, we can see the same parameters were added twice to exploit this vulnerability. 